Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my Beam and Jesus Drive videos. Today I am playing with this new mod which has been released. I'm not sure how to pronounce it but I think it's the Mulch 126. Again, don't quote me on that. It's not a bad looking car. I'm pretty sure it's based off of an old Fiat. It looks like an old Fiat. I could be wrong. It needs a bit of work to it. Let's reset it see if it helps a bit. It helps a little bit. But it needs to be... Has some work done to it. It needs to be a bit stronger, and the body line needs to fit exactly. The doors don't fit exactly, but that's not too bad to look at, really. It's still nice that it's in and works, but as you see by the wheels, a kind of glitchy one fuse. You look almost straight on, you can't see from, but you can see enough angle. But it's not too bad for what it is. Different camera angles, none from the inside, which is a shame, and doesn't look to be appear to be a steam wheel. I'm not sure if it's just me or modern gym wheel. But we're gonna drive it. We're not too fat about looking inside. They've got the same generic engine sound. That's what you get on most BMG that drive cars. It's not the fastest thing but then you would expect it to be. I mean it would be nice with a nice big um Fiat under the hood or bonnet depending on where you're from. Drive it around the track at the best of my abilities here. Very, very skinny wheels. We are going to crash into it in a minute. Ooh. Damage wise, it's getting damage done to it. Reaching 30 miles an hour around the corner. Well, kind of cutting the corner here now. Whatever way it's easy to get around the track, try to do at least one lap. Without damaging it too bad. Around the corner here. Oh, oh, oh dear. Take that too well. For damage wise, he's still going alright. 27 miles an hour. We're really pushing the boundaries now. The boundary of this is. Here we go, around the corner again. See so if we can do next at the speed. Nope, no, kind of not going well. Why is it getting really quiet when you put your foot down? Okay, we've lost the engine sound. Yeah, that's a weird bug. Okay, we can do a few crashes here. We can get up to speed. 30 miles an hour. Ish. And as you expect, it's damaged. I don't know why it does that really. The engine is going to go when you crash. Bit of a weird bug. Bit of a weird one indeed. Obviously, no engine in the front. It's going to wonder where the engine meant to be. That's now down there. Rear engine. We'll reset it again. And now we're going to. Try to reverse as far as we can into the wall. So we're not happening uh, at a 30 mile an hour crash. We'll change the map in a minute. We're probably going to do grid map. Something like that. Reasonably open. So we get some speed up on it. 10, 12, 13, 4 to 15 in reverse. Can we get 20? Near enough. <laughs> okay. So we're hitting at the back, and the back is pretty much not damaged. The doors pop open, and the hood or bonnet again flies off. Oh, what am I doing? Might have to cut that bit out a minute. Right, shut that. Come on, car. There we go, finally gear. Okay. And we're losing sound again on the car. So it's something to do for front end crash. You lose sound on the car. Bit of a uh, weird one there. Boo. There you go. That's what happened. A wheel collapsed. Anyway, let's keep the sound and we're going to go into a different map now. Well, we're going to hopefully get a bit more room to crash. Going to free room here. Going to go into grid map. 
Very good, nice, no, very good map. And we can go to their own nice open room to do stuff. Like crashing in. Okay, let's nice spawn it in. Come on, we always do that one. Always do that. If you feel it, well, hey, B and G. Always do that for some reason. Not sure why. Only one config for the guys. No parts at all at the minute that you can choose from, at least. Again, it might be, might be, it's not downloaded properly for me, but I'm pretty sure it has. But if it's not downloaded correctly for me, please tell me if it has or hasn't. Come on, car. We're gonna try and get at least 60 miles an hour, hopefully, out of this before we crash into the wall. It'd be nice if they had a, an actual engine noise for what they would have had rather than the default BMG.drive audio file. But it looks like we're only going to get 44 miles an hour out of this car. Which I suppose probably real life you would get a bit more than that, I'd imagine. But no, so I'm a, I feel due to being an old car, I've got no safety technology built into it at all. But it doesn't look too bad. I'll rip this door off if we can. Looks like we're not going to rip this door off. Very easily. Never really seen it inside. Very briefly there. And it's not done too bad. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, sorry about that. I had a bit of a bit of an issue to continue with, but now we're back. And as we saw, the car crashed right for 44 miles an hour. Didn't exactly go that fast. But we're not going to leave it now, we want to see what this car looks like when a different car crashes into it. So we're just going to spawn in a biggish, we'll, we'll start with a normal sized vehicle for, for now. So we, we'll go for a Mercedes 500E, an old old sold saloon car. So we're going to go with that, we're going to spawn a new one in. There's quite a bit of power and, oh, it's from a similar age era, off the, the 500. Not 500, 126 is off the older than the 500, but the 500 would be nearer the age gap than most of the other cars in there. So we're trying this, the 500 first, the 500E. I'm going to spawn this car, well, not spawn it, but it just here. We're going to go for a side impact on the car. We're going to pretend that the driver in this car didn't look where we're going and pulled straight out. to do. I'm going to move this off here a bit more. Much more power on this, look at that. Drift off the line and we're gone. Alright, so, we get that there. And now we're going to drive as fast as we can at this little car over here. 70 miles an hour, 100 times slow, most straight into the side. Speed up just a little bit more, and back to 100. Oh, look at that destruction right there. It survived quite a fast impact, really. It's not damaged it too bad, really, when you look at it like that. Speed up a little bit bit more and the bonnet's really bending bending around on that for it. Eight times slow mo and we're gonna speed up for The ABS working brilliantly now to stop both cars. And they are both mangled together unfortunately and they're not gonna come out. But look at the size difference really just looking out of the Mercedes compared to what well, I'm guess I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a Fiat. Can we pull it out? Get out of my Mercedes. But the size difference really when you look at it that way. Quite a big difference in the size and Mercedes didn't do very well. I mean it's not real life damage. You could probably repair that car. 
I mean, not that you need a new bonnet wing or screw bumper and all that stuff, but that looks fairly repairable. I mean, the frame itself doesn't like, look bent. I'm going to reset that out of the way and look at the damage on it. I mean, it's a 5 foot crash pretty well, give it its due. You know, being a small car built in the 60s, 70s, I'm guessing, you know, it's a 5 to get a car off that calibre, you know, it's not too bad. We're going to do one more crash with the next car, and then we're going to move up to a, um, a bigger car. Up ramp, up ramp, up ramp. It's not going to go anywhere more than that. As you can probably see, you can probably tell what we're about to do with the car right now. Come on, 500e. 18 miles an hour again. <laughs> a bit too late, but we'll do this again in a minute, pause it, and then we'll go find it for it again. But look at that, that's brilliant impact. And we'll switch. <laughs> that was a good crash. We'll have to do that in the game. Get some proper slow motion on that one. But and that was a brilliant crash. Look at the state of this car now. It didn't do with your bow that time. Chance of survival? 0%. Or 0 percent of survival, you just said. And after you said sort of crash, so that engine has got no sound to it. That was a crash and half. We're doing, like, we're doing that again, so and hopefully we'll put some proper slow motion on it next time. Oop, that handbrake's pretty good. I'll give it its due now. You see these? That did really well, again. A bit of a bend on the body up there, on the A-pillar, on the roof, but... Due to its crash, it's um, immobilised at the minute. Not anymore. Right, we're doing this again. Hopefully, we still have one just in time before. Another 80 miles an hour crash, hopefully. Ah, oh, went wrong again. I'm going to reset that one more time. We'll do it correctly. Well, it's still not too bad. Oh, look at that snow for a minute. Have again, actually, funny enough. Um, we must not be distracted. Right, one more time, hopefully. And hopefully, this time we'll get it bang on. I think what happened, I've tried to steer back on course while doing slow mo, which didn't work. Right, that's better. Now we get some proper slow motion on it. And we're taking slight damage going up the ramp. Quite a bit, actually. But. Straight into the back of the little Fiat here. Pushing the back end into the passenger area. Make some nice um, music going now, or sound. Look at that. What a sight. The Merc bringing up the rear. I'm sorry, Mercedes. We had to. We had to use you. We normally use you, use you in each video. Ooh, dear, look at that. I'm not looking at that rubbish little yellow car here. Look at that. Oh, oh poor, poor Mercedes. I am an avid Mercedes fan. I have a few old ones like this as well. I'm sure that yellow car's not rubbish, but, you know, poor, poor Mercedes. I have the smaller first, a few, actually, a three. Often these small versions. This is a bigger version. This is the E, e class equivalent to what I have. But I got three of these C class equivalents, or the W201 or 190s, if they're known. Poor, poor E class. Oh well. Well, it's not damaged anymore. Miracles of games. Anyway, I believe the damage in this is actually even worse. It was the first time we did it. Right, one more test, we're going to leave it in there. Big, big thing we now. Well, not big, but we're going to go for a, mm, we, we go for a pickup. Go for a D class. D class. Gaffle D series, right? 
too much talk now about Mercedes. I don't even do a D class. What am I even on about? Where's the Gaffel D series? I can't see it. Here it is. Hmm, what one do we go for? I can't use my one anymore. That's nice. No longer has that parts available. Um, actually, I think I made a new one. Not sure. I'm going to look for it. I was born in this one anyway. Best I can't. I think I still have my one. Let's check. I think I might have made a new one. Uh, where is it? Not on for a change. Um, where is it? I think it will be on the G. There we go. There we go. Nice. Still doing the same bloody engine glitch. So we figured it out. There we go. Nice and powerful for you. Look at that. Getting up to speed. Quite a nice. Nice miles an hour. We have a nice bit of weight in the back. Compared to the Mercedes. There we go. 90 miles an hour, much more weight as well. But what will the damage be like? I think this poor little Fiat has definitely been more damage. I could be wrong, I could be fair wrong, it could not be a Fiat at all, but it looks to be like a Fiat. <laughs> Boom! This pickup truck would still drive. And yeah, look at the size difference of the pickup truck to this little car. Come on. I was doing a little weird glitch with the engine. <laughs> Damn, that is just really bad. And that's not good at all. Right, we're not going to leave it in there. We're going to... We're going to really destroy this little fear if we can. I'm not talking about damage we've done so far. I'm, I want this... Fiat really crushed. Okay, I'm talking so flat you can't even recognise it anymore. And what's the only vehicle which I know we could do next? Actually, actually, we're going to run it over with the Bilas in a minute. We're definitely going to run it over with the Bilas. That is for sure. sure. But first to finish first, I'm going to get in the ETK. This one here. Replace the current and I'm going to customise it. I love that engine sound, really nice engine sound. Going on the frame, outfit. We're gonna go with the fifth wheel. Actually, we're gonna be towing a trailer with it. 12 litre engine, that's perfect. We're gonna go to the source, custom turbo source, for a bit more. Snorkel, custom turbo snorkel. And then we're gonna go into here, rally turbo. And that'll be all we're gonna. Now I'm not just going to go crashing into the car, that's what it's mean. Let me see if we got speed on this. That's it, I'm not going to go crashing into it. Instead, I'm going to push it into the wall. That way we get quite a bit of speed. And a lot of power. <laughs> Look at the size difference of that. And that's just huge. There we go. Sorry, little car. I don't want to hurt you, but you know, we have to for the video. It's the fastest thing this guy's ever been. This is going to go under the truck, have to. Oh, we will get some slow roll on here. Hitting 100 miles an hour in the truck. Look at it. Look at it. It's about to go under. It's about to go under the truck. Oh, this is amazing. Oh dear, we're gonna hit a bump. Uh oh. Bardo, I didn't notice there'd be a big bump like that. Oh, this could make for an amazing hit. That can be brilliant. <laughs> oh dear, that was, oh, that was brilliant. I couldn't have, couldn't have asked for anything better than that. So, you're gonna get a quick drink here. So, the camera won't be getting moved much, and you might hear. A little go of drink. I do apologise in advance. Pardon me. That was an amazing hit. 
That couldn't have gone any better. That really couldn't have. Right, let's see if we can pull this truck over. I'm sorry, DK. I'm really bad. I think the luffiest truck so much. Any truck video I do, I use this truck. This is just an amazing, amazing truck to use. Right, we're going to keep it there actually for that engine zone. A bit of a background noise, but we've finally destroyed this little Fiat here. Very destroyed. What we're going to do, we're going to take this car right down towards the end. And we're then going to attack the trailer to the lorry. And then we're going to crash into the car. But that crash we just did, you cannot have asked for anything better than that. that was just an accident, but it's amazing. 100 miles an hour, hit a bump, and we absolutely flew. See, just a bit over that way more. If we just come here, we wouldn't have had an amazing crash like that. And it's just due to the fact we steered just a bit odd. We had an amazing crash. If we didn't do that, you would never have thought a good crash like that. Handbrake on. Now we're going to find a trainer. The only problem if you can't go anything too heavy with this truck due to the way it's designed. Um, I'm going to go for a fuel tanker. That might be the easiest option. Alright, so we're going to go for petroleum. Or, depending where you're from, if you're from America, that'd be gasoline. We're going to spawn a new one. But we have, we're going to have to do a bit of modification to this trailer. So it can fit easily. Otherwise, it would get caught and I'm actually slow the lorry down anymore. So, we're going to go in the customize, tank the trailer, front well empty on both sides, so that should be fine. Otherwise, you have a bit of a fitting issue with the truck. Truck under, hopefully. Sorted. So that's what I mean with the wheel wheels. This truck needs to have a bit more of a firmer suspension, and that's only a bad point about this truck. But then this truck was built to go off the road, really. So it's going to have a slightly softer suspension. Yeah, a bit bouncy here. Drive out. Again, we have seen some very good speed here. Might even reach 90 miles an hour again with a trailer attached. Right, got a bit screwy here, but we should still get the full impact. So let's see what happens now. Very good angle in there, but that's a better angle right there. Not like much gonna happen really to the truck basically ridden over. But we have to make sure we cover every angle. Not sure how this is gonna help really, but just to squash the truck even more. Uh we don't really need any more so much. And that destroyed if if nothing is usable again now. Trade if we scrap trailer, or we said truck, and a Fiat. None of them would survive from that. Horrible. And a Fiat. You couldn't even recognise that. The only thing you could recognise from that car is part of the door. And maybe one headlight. Maybe that one as well. Not much in there you could really recognise a Fiat from. Trailer. We don't need this anymore. So we're going to go on to that one. Got it right. Move current. We're going to move this car out this way more. Come on, find it again. Still a very nice car. 
fair enough car indeed. Not the fastest cars, but then you wouldn't expect it to be really. <laughs> fair enough to look at as well. When you when I've got the um, most of the details sorted out. It should be a very nice car to use indeed. I will have to, I will have to make a um, another video on the car when it's completed, I think. Hopefully this beast still works. It did last time I wanted to use it. So hopefully it does now. It could pretty much destroy everything at Bonnie Silver. Yep, it still works. Right, sounds good. Right, I'm going to have to try pulling it out. What is it? Is it, is it no, we're slow mode, are we? No, we're not. It seems like it is. Right. We are, of course, stuck in the ground. Right. Have to destroy it a bit. Should we get it right? Look at the way that bounces. Right. Here we go. Sorry, little girl. You're about to be dwarfed by a massive mining truck. We're not going to do solo on this one, we're doing after. Straight under. Ah, oh, really? No. That nah, is sucked. Might have to go a bit slow. Fresh and fresh. I'm just going to drive this car up to the truck. You can just look at, at a size comparison of how different the size they are. Glit yeah, the, this car glitched out, as you can tell by the speeder. It just disappeared, and apparently we're not going anywhere. But look at the size of this. You can fit this right underneath. Well, got a garage sorted out. You know? There really is a huge size difference here. And even fit underneath that part now. We weren't going to go fast then. It's obviously going fast. It's not allowed. And a fresher game for you. So what we're going to do. Get it straight to first, actually. And then... We're going to run over at a very slow rate of speed. There we go. Oh, we've caught it. There we go. Being compacted as we speak. I don't like doing this too fast, but you know, it's entertaining and it's good to watch. Going for compactness stage 2, look at that. Gaining the speed now. And they thought, I thought it had broken free from it. Oh, it's broken free. There we go. And rear wheels, here it comes, nothing crashing. Oh, really a small car, but oh well. We have to do it. We have to be thorough. Stop! 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 Why is it not stopping? I know it's a huge thing on that, but... Right, there we go. That'll do. 
Yeah. Hmm. Nurse 2 top destroyed. What we did before. That was totally destroyed before. And um, now she's totally flattened. I mean. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to be in either, really, when you think about it. They both suffered quite badly at the handling off the lorry and the big behemoth over there called the Belass. Really getting that one. Are we still in Colombo, are we? Right, there's one other thing I am going to attempt. No, we have to see spawn. Great! Go forward! Go forward, I'm telling you! Go forward! I'm not so responsive, I'm grinding. See the ram from working there, the turn of wheels. It's not going to move. It's gone on strike. We have to force it to move. Oh, or maybe not. We're not going to force this thing to move. Come on, you want it to move. You want to move. Move. Now! Just move! Right, unless this has to be down, which I doubt. But that's a possibility. That may be right. I don't see how, but. Now, do we ramp it, try to ramp it into the trailer? Or flat good part. Or God tried to destroy it by open lifting up the bed. Yep. I think just try to destroy it. Yep, we're going for the destroy option. Come on, go back. Go back. Good truck. Stop. Good truck. Save it. Right, come on, car. Let's reach 44 miles an hour. Not as fast as the DeLorean, obviously. The DeLorean can do it. 88, so you know, it's double the speed. Alright, let's get you turned around. Handbrake's turn is pretty good. You can rent a handbrake, handbrake turn car. This will be the last thing we do. And like a carnival, where you hit the um, hammer into the fin to try and hit the bell to go up to the top. I'm going to try to hit the top of the jump truck with this car. Come on! Ding! There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh dear, yes. Yes! No! No, 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 no! We first! There we go. Poor car. She obliterated it now. Again. I could have destroyed it again. Yeah. 
poor thing. They can destroy more in this video than that should have driven. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Let's get out of here, car. Let's get out of here. Quick. Drive. Drive. No. Anyway. That's it. I'm not going to go anywhere. This has been HG on you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if, if you can, please get your friends to subscribe to my channel. As every subscribe helps. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel as well. As I said, any subscriber helps. And um, I would like to know if you can leave a comment below on what you like watching about my videos or what you think could be improved. You know, I, I do want to hear um, obviously what you feel could improve this channel. As I'd like to, you know, improve it and get more people watching and all this other stuff. So if, if you can, or if you want to even, Please can you write in the comments below this video and say what you think could be improved. Often like, don't you know don't go with one you know be really hurt, spiteful you know type thing. And general things you think could help improve video quality and things like you know or general things you want to see like Demon G to drive, even other games you might want to see being played type things. You know I'm open to options and suggestions from people. But yeah, so. Um, if you feel you, you want to see, see anything on the channel, please um, comment below with what you want to see. And once again, um, it's been hatching on you. I hope you enjoyed. And please like, thumbs up, or whatever it is, my videos, and um, subscribe. Thanks again.